So the cost of, uh, of more cost and availability of mortgage capital, the nature of the instruments, if you were looking down road, um, do you see radical changes? You know, if we look out five, seven years, um, in terms of the cost of, of mortgages, the the type of instrument, um, and most importantly about the availability of funding, will there be adequate funding for a healthy housing market? The this is a very large market. You know, two thirds of uh, uh, households in the U.S. are are homeowners. Uh, even even now, a very large market, very liquid. And so, one thing I think you know is, is clear is things are going to move slowly. Uh, and so, in you know, it's a big battleship. It's not going to not going to turn on a dime. So, uh, probably the you know the most likely prediction is that you know. The, what people are accustomed to seeing in terms of products, the 30-year fixed rate mortgage, um, you know, there's a lot of demand for it, so it's likely to, you know, continue to be available. The question is what the pricing will be like, uh, and that depends on, you know, in part on where the financing, housing finance reform goes. You know, right now there's support for that through the GSEs, but I think there's concern about the cost of that uh, to taxpayers and what the what the risk is. You know, right now those loans are performing very well, um, but as the credit box uh, opens back up again, there'll be more risk in those loans, and then you have to think about you know where the government backstop should lie. So, how do you see the upcoming GSE reform? Do you actually see bills passing? Well, there's legislation that's uh, been put forward that I think has sort of focused the the discussion and. That's uh, obviously the Quirker Warner bill and has a uh, bipartisan support. The administration has uh, said that they'll support you know, something along those lines. And that's provided, a, I think, a good platform for discussion because it's, you know, it's a complicated set of issues. And so it's helpful to have something specific on the table to give um, not only legislators, but also you know, the, the public uh, something specific to, to think about. Um, uh, that being said, you know, it is a complicated set of issues and it's in the midst of a housing market that's still recovering. So, you know, there's concern both about continued uh, availability of credit and on the other hand about the budget cost going forward. So you're at this nexus of a tough budget situation and a tough housing market. And so I think it, it's hard to find uh, common ground uh, in, in that uh, contentious an environment, and you know, it'll be discussed in committee. And you know, there's a, there's a lot of support for this because it does sure. sort of you know thread the line um, in a to to find a compromise. Uh, but then you still need to find compromise with the uh, with the House, which doesn't have uh, a similar piece of legislation uh, on the floor. So I think you know it's a it's a tough very tough environment to get anything passed, and, and this is especially contentious. So the, the key features of that bill that are of concern, um, at least to me and I think to, to, to realtors, um, one is, is, is the first loss provisions. Mm -hmm. And the second would be whatever they do to, to dramatically alter um, the loan limits, particularly in a high-cost state like California. How do you see that evolving in the bill that if any bill does move forward. Well, part of the you know threading and, and trying to find a uh, a bipartisan compromise is that first loss provision to have uh, private capital come in and in front of any government guarantee and. There's a lot of support uh, for that because it does uh, put the taxpayer in a more remote position from the kind of risk that they would otherwise face. And you know, given the uh, issues that GSEs had and issues at FHA, you know, that that's appealing both from a budget point of view and also just from a risk uh, to the taxpayer's point of view. Uh, so that I think is a is a prominent uh, piece of the legislation, a prominent piece of trying to find compromise. Thank you.